Still on arch modeling, I have covered the basics of arch modeling in two videos, parts one and two. I will encourage you to watch them before you proceed to watch the rest. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can simulate a simple arch model. Simulating arch model will involve how you can also identify an arch model with a constant variance and an arch model with a time varying variance. Simulating an arch model is a pretty simple procedure and I've outlined the steps for you to see as shown on the screen. Begin with the new eViews work file, modify the frequency, modify the dates, click OK. I will show you the command that you can use and modify. Thereafter, you simulate the models. So let's go to eViews. So we begin by creating a new eViews work file. Please do as I do. So here under frequency, I'm changing this to monthly. My start date, I'm starting with 1990. You can choose any dates you want and any frequency you want, but make sure you choose high frequency. You can see that I modified mine from annual to monthly. Click OK. So here I have 336 observations. I'm going to use some commands, which I'm going to type in the command window. So this is the command I'll be using to simulate a constant variance arch model. So you can see right here, you can also adopt and modify as applicable. So let me see if I can copy this. So it's all copied and I press the enter key. Next, I generate the series for the random number. Press the enter key and I have ETA created. If I double click on ETA, which is the series I just created, it's random, you can see. So ETA is created. Next. I copy this command, execute that. If you look at the range and the sample here, there are some modifications. I'm still building up the series. Please practice along with me. I copy this, I press the enter key. Series Y is now created. If I double click on that, you can see this. It's still building up. Copy this command, sample size, modified back to 334. Copy this, press the enter key. Now you can see that Y now has a complete series across all board complete data and lastly I copy this command and I execute. So sample size and the range are now equal at 336. So let me explain what I just did here. I want to simulate a constant variance H2 model. H2 model because we have the two lagged terms of the squared error on the right hand side and i want to model it as a constant variance and i've given beta naught 3.5 and beta 1 beta 0 are equal to 0 and being equal to 0 implies that this entire right hand side will be 0 therefore h2 will be equal to 3.5 that is why i have 3.5 in the command so i'm simulating a constant variance for an H2 model. So now let us plot the series to see how we arrived at those plots. So let's go back to eViews. Then we'll click on Y, which is the series you want to model. Go to View, click on Graph. I just want a line graph. I'm not changing anything here. I'm using the raw data. I click OK. So you can see, this is exactly what I have in my PowerPoint slide. This is a constant variance H2 model. Y exhibits constant heteroscedastic variance. So going back to PowerPoint, you can see that is what we have here. HT equals 3.5. There is no evidence of volatility constraint. It exhibits constant variance. And looking at the distribution, it is also normal. These are the statistics. Ketosis is 3.35 and the Jacobera p-value is not significant, which shows this is a normal distribution. So you can model H1 h2 h3 as you want and assume it to be constant by giving any random figure i gave 3.5 you can decide to give any figure and use this command just modify accordingly so next i will show you how to simulate a time varying h2 model this is what we'll be doing this is the econometric representation beta naught will still take 3.5 but now beta 1 and beta 2 have figures attached to them and they lie between 0 and 1 maintaining the underlying assumptions of the arch model of a positive variance. So all you have to do is just simply modify the same code that we used earlier on. So let's copy this and move over to eViews line by line. I'm copying this, I'll post it here, press the enter key. Then next, copy the series, press the enter. 
copy the next line press the enter key i do the same thing here you press the enter please make sure you practice along with me i do the same thing here econometrics is fun there is nothing to it press the enter key copy this press the enter key copy this and press the enter key. if you're observing that as you are making these modifications the sample and the range observations will be changing. After you have done it correctly, you will arrive at the same figure. So let's double click on Y. We we'll go to view, graph. We we'll click on learn and symbol. Okay. So you can see here, time varying volatility. So let's go to PowerPoint. So this is what we just did. I just showed you time varying variance of the H2 model, where we assume constant to be 3.5 and beta 1 and beta 2 to be 0.5 and 0.48. It's a monthly time series plot. It also evidences volatility constraint. You can see periods of small changes followed by period of small changes and period of large changes followed by further large changes. You can see here wild periods. These are calm periods and these are wild periods. So this is the time varying variance which shows volatility clustering. So you can give any figure just to play around with the figures and see what you come up with. This is a plot of what we have. It is not normally distributed from the Jacobera p value. You can see here highly significant and negatively skewed. It has a fat left tail. Putting the two plots together, this is the one with the constant variance and this is the one with the varying variance, time varying variance, stack differences. So you can simulate any act model that you desire using the commands you have seen just following me step by step you can use weekly data monthly daily make sure that they are high frequency data the one with the constant variance as you can see here shows no evidence of volatility constraint while the one for time varying variance evidences clustering of the volatility stack differences between the two plots that'll be all these are the references again for basic arch modeling please read up Support uh, video tutorials with reading. Don't just rely on video tutorials alone, please. Next video will be testing for arch effects in AViews. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for supporting my channel. Thank you for sharing my links and thank you for your subscription. Please don't go away. I'll be right back.